Wow. Mm -hmm. Don't you look ready to get something off your chest. You're about ready to pop. Chicago Central Hospital, please. Oh my God, this is it. Why ain't that something? <laughs> this isn't one of those deals like in the movies where the cab driver becomes a hero by delivering a baby in the back seat. I mean, I have a hyperactive gag reflex. Driver, please. Look, what do you say? I forgot to put the meter on. Let's see, should I set it for two or three passengers? With the shocks on this car? I'm sure it's just a matter of time. Please, driver. Two. What was that, honey? Set the meter for two. Please. Let this one be on me. Consider it a baby shower gift. I said, will you Todd. Thank you. We appreciate it, but it's entirely unnecessary. Suit yourself. Are you okay? Are you two all right back there? Should I put the air conditioner on or the heater maybe? And Lucille had off first. She was always cold and she was always hot. <laughs> this is your first, am I right? I can always tell. We're fine, driver. Please just drive. My name's Carl. It's a good name. You might want to consider it if you're still undecided. Yeah, thank you. We'll consider it. Carl. Yes, little mother. This isn't a happy day, Carl. Don't say that. You don't know for sure. Todd, I need you. I need you to be strong with me. I cannot go through this and hold your hand. I need you to hold my hand. I'm just going to disappear on that table, I swear to God. I'm there for you, honey. Remember, these doctors are only human. Yeah, they went to school, and maybe they majored in medicine instead of business or architecture, but they're not infallible. They could make mistakes. Remember, it's just man and machines. What about the way I feel? What about what I know? What about the reason I went to the hospital to be hooked up to those monitors in the first place? know it in my heart. Don't give up. Hope is all. Carl, our baby is dead. That's the first time I heard that. Our baby is dead. Our baby is dead. At the hospital they say they can't hear a heartbeat on the baby, but they don't say it. Oh God. Our baby is dead. Folks, ma'am, I am so sorry. This is terrible. We're going to the hospital now to deliver a dead baby. I never knew they did that. Did you know that, Carl? Because our baby was nearly full term, I have to go through the delivery. The labor, the breathing and everything as if I didn't know the outcome. As if I was waiting for some joyous moment to get me through the pain. They say childbirth is the most painful thing you can go through. I know now that it's not. This is awful. I am so sorry for you. We had a miscarriage once. Three months in, Lucille had to get a DNC, and she was inconsolable. I can't imagine how you feel. I'm dying inside. Can you imagine what it's like to carry a dead being around inside you? And can you imagine how that feeling is magnified when that being is one that you loved? I have a corpse inside me. No, no, Todd. I need to think this through. This is me. This is my doing. 
my child did not die from a disease he brought home from the playground. I can't blame some driver that ran him over on his skateboard. My body killed this child. Don't say that. He's right, miss. Blaming yourself will do no one any good. Maybe it's better this way. Yeah, maybe I would have been a lousy mother. No, I mean, maybe this is nature's way of sparing the child from being born with something terribly wrong. Bullshit. Bullshit. Our baby is dead. I wouldn't have cared if it had a birth defect or something. I would have loved him. And we would have had him forever. If I may say, ma'am, you'll have him forever anyway. He'll always be in your heart and in your head. And in a very real way, just with going with him this far will forever change who you are. Some people live a whole life without impacting another person that way. Your little angel already did that. His work is done. Thank you, Kara. That's very wise. At least we have his picture. Ma'am? It's his sonogram. It's a wonderful thing that you got some sense of him or her. Him. How many children do you have? Two. Boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. You must be proud. That I am. And you must be proud too. What you are doing requires the physical and mental strength of a true hero. More than a hero. A true woman. You're a good man, Carl. You folks seem like good people. You know, that's what really puts sugar in my gas tank. All kinds of people are having babies and that they dump and drown and mop buckets and throw against walls and here comes a kind lady who can care for her baby and something like this happens. Do I owe you? Really, folks. It's on me. Thanks. When I think of him, maybe it will be his car. Good luck, miss. Good luck to you, wise friend. How you doing, buddy? Sears Tower, please. We're trying to see all the landmarks in one day before we go back to New York. Isn't that fun? I bet Carl's never been to the Sears Tower, the John Hancock Building. Or the Art Institute. I mean, we've never been to the Museum of Modern Art, mm -hmm. or the Statue of Liberty, or the Empire State Building. You know, when a great city is your hometown, you never see the touristy stuff. Am I right, Carl? We got a live one here. Life of the party. Well, one thing New York and Chicago have in common, apparently, is uh, the cabbies no speak the English. You count on that. You moving here or what, buddy? I guess the only guarantees in life are two things you can't comprehend. Death and taxi drivers. Yeah.